So we're going to configure a static website from Amazon S3 bucket. To do that, we need to have a bucket already created. So I have one called my tech snip bucket. So we'll go into this and we'll go into properties and there you'll see static website hosting. So we'll select that and we check on use this bucket to host a website. You'll notice above that, it's got the endpoint and that is the actual URL. So you need to take a note of that, of your static website. We're only going to change one item here and that's the index document. I've created a file called index.html. Then we click on save. Okay, so now you'll see our website is enabled. So we'll upload some content to it. So we click on the upload button and then click on add files. Then we click next. So we're just going to accept all the defaults as we upload this file. And that's us got our index.html. So there's one more step because at the moment, this website is not accessible publicly. And I can show you that. So you'll see we have no access currently. So we need to set a policy. And this policy enables your bucket to be read-only publicly across the internet. So we click into permissions and then we click on bucket policy. So I have a, a policy created already. And if you look at line eight, we've got the name of the bucket. So you need to substitute with the name of your bucket. So I've got my tech snip bucket. So we'll just paste that in to the bucket policy in the console. Click on save. Now you'll get a warning. This bucket has public access. So let's go back and test to see if we can connect to our website now. And there you go. We can now view our website and index.html. Thank you for watching this video.